Now gone, it's going to remain gone for quite some time. Here's a live look, and what's not gone is the fog. Oh, the vis visibility at the heart of downtown Grand Rapids, you can see it's not that bad, but you can, you can see a little bit of fog. You head out to Holland, kind of looks like a scene out of London, if you will, but we have a windmill there uh, with the fog and still the snowpack on the ground. Boy, we're going to continue melting that snowpack, especially with some heavy, moderate rain heading our way for tonight. Today will be dry, but again, we have to deal with this fog. Uh, like most cases, the fog visibility is different in many locations, but it's quite widespread at eighth of a mile, pretty consistent there. Two mile visibility, uh, the best uh, so far in the metropolitan areas down around Kalamazoo. Obviously, because of the widespread fog once again this morning we have a dense fog advisory that takes us right until 11 o'clock and just like yesterday we ought to see the, the fog or visibility improve uh, 34 degrees right now in grand rapids look how mild it is throughout the state there's only one location up around sault ste marie that has a temperature below the freezing mark so unlike yesterday we don't have to worry about black ice for the most part except around the big rapids area where that could be an issue with the temperature at 32 degrees we're looking at a uh, very light wind out there today out of the east and northeast or around 5 to 10 miles an hour and even some spots this morning calm area of high pressure overhead but it's what we call kind of a dirty ridge if you will it means there's still a lot of moisture underneath it clouds fog but the rain you can see gathering it's uh, right around Louisiana moving into uh, Arkansas and that is going to head right in our direction with that area of low pressure which is still way down in eastern Texas so this is how it plays out with the future cast you can see we'll make it through the daylight hours dry and once again the clouds are going to stick around you see a large area of rain just chugging in our direction and that's going to be moving in for tonight so if you have evening plans out there overnight plans do expect to get wet out there certainly bring the umbrella if you're heading out this evening and then as we work our way through Friday, that widespread rain comes to an end and then we'll kind of be replaced with some patchy drizzle sprinkles here and there that very well could last through Saturday and Sunday. Most of the weekend does look dry. In terms of that rainfall right now, it looks like anywhere from about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch in most locations. Mild temperatures, rain supreme right on through the eight-day forecast. No significant systems heading our way. And here's a look for the first week of February with the entire eastern half of the United States expected with above average temperatures. Tom? All right, once again, we are working with fog out there across area roadways. A little bit better than what we were dealing with uh, yesterday. We can see some of the headlights here uh, along the S-curve in downtown Grand Rapids. But again, uh, not a bad idea to be giving yourself a couple of extra minutes uh, as we do need to navigate that fog situation out there. Uh, taking a look at the freeway situation heading into and around the downtown Grand Rapids area. Uh, good news is right now we do remain crash free across area freeways as you get ready to head out. And uh, I did not encounter any uh, black ice this morning, which is what we were dealing with yesterday morning. So hopefully the roads are in a little bit better shape. Lots of salt out there. So uh, right now we do remain crash free heading into downtown GM. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Trace and Don.